Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 5th, but you know the timing is fluid. Uh, the timing is fluid, so I know I repeated myself, but I really gotta let people know, because some people don't get it. But anyhow, yeah, the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. We're just gonna do this real quick. Now, on the 5th, I will be doing my live at night, uh probably closer to 7 30 8 o'clock eastern time but it will be for the members um for the members that have signed up so the live is going to be about third party situations cheating affairs stuff like that that's what the live topic is going to be about we're just going to talk about it um how it makes you feel what has happened you know how to handle it you know, my opinion my take on it okay um so that'll be the live for February 5th, but to have access to it, you will have to be a member. I have figured out how to send it or share it with just members. So we got the, that all figured out. So let's talk about the 5th. What do we got? Ooh, the 10 of Cups. 10 of Cups is your 10s are completions. I know a lot of people forget to mention that, but 10s, there could be the, this is like the end of some 10 is the end. Okay. It could be the end of struggle. Okay, um, but this is happiness, an ending that leads to happiness. Something is coming to an end. It leads to peace. Okay, it leads to firm, uh, <laughs> fulfillment. It leads to, you know, blessings, an ending that leads to a blessing. The storm is over. Okay, this is a peaceful blessing. Okay, so something has come to an end and peace is probably being restored, you know, starting to feel more at peace, starting to feel more at ease, more content. Ooh, uh, oh, wow, this is a wish being granted. This is help from the other side. So a uh, time of hope, a time of inspiration, a time of renewal. Now this is, uh, you know... The star, the star is, is, a blessing. And this is a blessing as well. So there's some sort of blessing. There's an ending that is a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. The star comes after the tower. So it's like the tower has fallen and it has caused something to end. But now it's time to heal. This was a blessing in disguise. Hmm. Oh, there is definitely a higher power involved. There is. There's a higher power involved here that has aided, definitely aided in something. Somebody hasn't been getting the attention that they need, that they deserve. Or they weren't getting the attention that they deserved. We have somebody that was really focused on materialistic things. This person is very materialistic. I feel like this is a very shallow energy for some reason, but this is, this guy has something, so it, this could go so many ways. Could be dealing with Taurus. We have Taurus here, we have Taurus here, but this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aquarius, but this is some sort of wish that is being granted. We have somebody here that is not getting any attention from somebody. They have been praying. This person has been waiting and praying for some sort of attention. There's a higher power that has been listening to those prayers. Perhaps this person has been wanting a relationship, has been wanting peace, has been wanting, you know, that happily ever after. And now her prayers or his prayers are being answered. So there are some prayers that are being answered here. Look at that shit. There is. There is. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now this is, this is a commitment. This could, marriage. Somebody could be even be getting proposed to. There could be a proposal, an upcoming proposal, just saying. We have somebody here that is really discontent. It's like they've been focusing on somebody who doesn't want them. But now that's over. That is over. 
done focusing on that. I absolutely, I knew it. I knew it. Not gonna, not crying over that loss anymore. So we have somebody here that is no longer focusing on a third party situation. No longer focusing on the person that doesn't want them. It's like, this is a card of healing. It's like there's a higher power that is bringing somebody else a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity coming in that is could lead to marriage. It could lead to long-term commitment. It could lead to happiness. This is the answer to your prayers. Consider it a blessing in disguise that this person did not give you any attention. Consider it a blessing in disguise because now that you have healed and you have regained your stability, you have another opportunity coming in. Two cards. Hmm, the world reversed. This is somebody that is refusing. Now, when you get the world reversed, this is somebody that is stuck. They're stuck. Stuck in the present. Refusing. Refusing to move forward. They need to accept their losses and let go. Just step over the finish line. We got somebody here that hasn't been learning any mis learning from their mistakes. They've been resisting. They've been resisting their new beginning. But uh, they've make it been they've been unaware. They've been unaware. They've they've been uh, unable to let go of a nightmare, or they've been staying in some sort of nightmare. They've been living in. Uh, staying in a karmic situation, you know, staying, and I don't want to hear any karma comments about, oh, that's my man with his karmic. That's you in denial, okay? That is you in denial. Wake up. This is somebody, this, this is for you. For all those people that write comments below, that's my man with his karmic. This is for you. You are unaware. You are not awake. You are are not choosing to let this end. You are stuck. You are refusing to accept any advice. You are refusing to see. You are in denial. If your man is with another person, he is not your man or woman. And you need to wake up. This is somebody who is repeating their own karmic lessons. Not learning. This is karma. This is lesson. We have somebody that is not learning their karmic, karmic lesson and they're blaming the other person. Wake up, please. And it's funny. I decided what my live show was going to be about 10 minutes before I started this reading. Five minutes before. We have somebody here that's been refusing to accept the truth. But there's a higher power involved. This is a blessing in disguise that didn't work out. So we do have somebody here that is, is realizing that there is somebody else. It's like, it's like God or a higher power is bringing somebody in. Ooh, a new exciting beginning. This is an exciting opportunity with somebody new. Fresh start. New sexual partner. This is, this is... <laughs> Exciting. I mean, it's it's a match. But we have somebody here that is extremely d distrustful. Defensive. On guard. Keeps repeating the same patterns over and over and over again does not want is refusing to learn any lessons seriously so we have somebody here that is uh guarded this person is guarded because they're kind of still hanging on to the past they are somebody is hanging on to the past blaming and in like la la land okay we got somebody obviously that is in la la land um not wanting to accept that 
whoever it is that isn't giving them any intention, any attention is with somebody else for a reason. That person is with somebody else because they don't love them. Um, but they don't want to see it because, you know, they they just keep remembering the good times and the relationship that they had, you know, romanticizing. So they're in denial. But anyhow, so we do have a new opportunity coming in. There's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be sudden. There's going to be a sudden, um, opportunity. Okay, there's going to be a sudden opportunity that could lead to, it's a big opportunity that could lead to a long-term commitment. Somebody is going to be presented with the choice. This is this to move forward or stay stuck. There's an opportunity to have a relationship here, to have happily ever after. This is the answer to your prayers. It's not who you think it is. It's not. Okay? It's not. It's not that person from the past. Just so you... It's not. It's not. This is somebody new. I know that it is. We got somebody here. And this guy was in the reading yesterday too. Different deck. He has a big opportunity. It's big. It really is. You aren't even going to be able to say no once you see it. So anyway, there, this guy has a big opportunity for somebody. And it is exciting. And there is going to be an attraction if you are ready to move forward. So there is somebody here that is now going to be focusing on the future because they get this golden opportunity from somebody that is too good to pass up. It's like, whew, it is, it's like, wow, wow. It could really, really grow into something uh, long term, put it that way. But we have somebody here that is, has grown very independent this person has grown, we have this person that has grown very independent because they're holding on to the past. You know, that illusion of, you know, whatever. All the bullshit, hold on to the karmic. <laughs> Sorry, I don't go for that. So we got these people that go down that road and it's just like, why oh, will you please wake up? Please wake up, please. So we have somebody here refusing to wake up. They're not learning their lessons. So anyway, for somebody that has, that is ready, that has healed, that has released, that, you know, there is a new opportunity here. This person is being brought in. They are, they're being brought in from a higher power. They're, this higher power is like, okay, this is what you asked for. Strength reversed. So the strength, you're not going to be able to restrain yourself from this person. You're not going to be able to say no. This person, you are not going to be able to say no. And now we got the devil on the bottom. So there's going to be a strong attraction. There is going, there is, there's going to be a strong attraction. So it's like God or higher power is bringing somebody into the picture that is going to really, uh, help you because this is help arriving there this person is going to help you to move past the person that you know was your karmic ha yes sir that person came into your life to teach you a karmic lesson so they're bringing somebody into your life to help you move forward to help you wake up. To help you stop placing blame on your ex or whoever it is or the other woman. You know, you know what I'm saying? That, consider it a blessing in disguise that that didn't work out. The minute your partner goes with somebody else, let them go. They don't have respect for you. They didn't love you. 
End of story. And even if they did, they don't anymore. They have they don't have respect for you. Anyway, we're going to talk about this on Wednesday night. If you want to watch it and be part of the show, you will have to hit the join button. Um, but anyway, what we have here is a new relationship that is coming into play. If you are in a relationship now, things may be getting more intense. They may be... Um, there could be a new partner that is entering this. I'm just being honest with you. Be because somebody's not getting attention right here. Somebody's not getting attention. And when, and then that's when people get involved in third parties when they don't get attention. If if you're not if you guys can't give each other attention, well, then perhaps it's time to end it. But anyway, there's a lot there's a, this this could go on all day. We ha we could have somebody here that is married. They're in a marriage, they're in a contract. They have this new sexual attraction with somebody. They're attracted to somebody new. They're not getting the attention they need at home. The universe, this is the universe card, has brought somebody new into their lives to make this person do the right thing, to act with integrity. If you're not happy at home, leave. Anyhow, um, but we have somebody here that is totally unaware of something. This is lack of awareness not awakened it's like there is a higher power involved here now this right here is lack of courage and there's fear there's fear this is also unable to restrain oneself so somebody may be unable to restrain themselves from this deep attraction okay um there is going to be a deep attraction a strong instant attraction that comes into play here that is going, it's definitely going to be undeniable. Um, somebody may try to push it away, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Um, this is, this is attention. This person is going to be standing at attention, okay? Or they're going to be giving attention, okay? It's going to be like, you know what I mean? It's just like, woo! So, it's definitely a very sexual time, okay, with this and this. It is definitely a very sexual time. It's a very, you know, there's a deep attraction here. There's a lot of uh, feelings of lust and desires that need to be met. So, I think we have somebody that has something big to offer somebody else. And they are probably going to uh, move in that direction. Um... We do have somebody here that hasn't learned their lesson, though. They haven't learned their karmic, karmic lesson. They're still holding on to the past. These two cards right here. Somebody has not learned their karmic lesson. They're still holding on to the past. They're unable to release. They're unable to accept and let go. So if you are that person, you're going to have to find your strength to accept and let go of the person that isn't giving you attention or vice versa and that takes strength and it takes acting with integrity and it takes self worth we have somebody here that doesn't know their value doesn't know that we do this person is weak Anyway, so this could go on all day. We're not going to do that. We have a new exciting beginning here, a new opportunity that is being brought in from above. And this is all happening for a reason. This is a this is like the blessing. This is definitely a blessing. This is this is what you this is what you asked for. This is the answer to your prayers. It may not be the exact answer that you were envisioning. It might not be this person that you thought but it's what they had in mind for you. So there is a new relationship that could be starting. And it could be long term. That, that could be starting like immediately. And that is what I got. Good luck.